Hey, what's up? Uh, Mr. Lee and Ice here, and uh, I'm just going to go over my Blackhawk uh, Hellstorm uh, elbow pads and knee pads. And uh, we are in uh, North Alabama right now, and uh, it pretty much is a hailstorm. Uh, this is the this is the hottest summer in act in 50 years uh, we we've had. It's it's I mean you know I don't know wh whoever wherever wherever you are in the world watching this video, um, maybe it's hot where you're at, but it's it's, it's hot as hell over here um, right now. But uh, hey, I, I like the heat. You just gotta you guys gotta stay hydrated. Um, first off, I just wanted to say that uh, the elbow pad that I have, I did buy them as uh, as far as I remember, I did buy them as the Hellstorm model, and they do sell these as the Hellstorm model. These say Blackhawk, and I've seen them say both. I've seen them say Blackhawk. I've seen them say Hellstorm. Honestly, I looked at them all online. I don't think I don't think there's any discrepancy between either. I mean, they're both made by the same company, and probably I think I honestly think they're from Indonesia or somewhere like that anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'll go over the uh, the elbow pads uh, first because I've owned these uh, the longest. I think I've had them for about a year now. And I wear them uh, just kind of outdoors and uh, at the shooting range. And um, basically, they work well with me um, with no sleeves. Or, um, and I'll show you, like, what's really nice about them, they just slide on uh, like that. There's no really real adjusting. And uh, they just get on real easy. And, and I just I was wearing my BDU shirt out here, um, which is, uh, and most people are amazed that <laughs> I'm doing that in this, in this heat. But, uh, it's, it's very comfortable with the, the jacket, comfortable on my skin. Uh, I would say if you're a larger male um, than, than myself, which uh, I'm about 100 and, I don't know, roughly 180 pounds, so about 6 foot 2. I don't have the big beefiest arms as some, some of you, you tactical guys out there. Um, nothing fancy, I don't know how big his arms are, but <laughs> if you're bigger than me, they're definitely going to be uh, definitely gonna be tighter. But as you can tell, there's, there's a lot of give. And um, basically, the the material that the the elbow pads and the knee pads um, it is it is a neoprene material. So so it the, the, you have the spandex stretching material and the neoprene. So it's all um, it's all got give and flexibility. And and I have to say, the, even in this even this heat, I am sweating. Um, it's pretty comfortable, actually. And then they have this uh, Hoctex material, I believe Blackhawk calls it. And that's why I prefer these elbow pads and knee pads. And then um, I'll show you. I'll show you how. Uh, basically, uh, the elbow pads are simple to put on. The knee pads are a little bit more, um, a little, a little tougher. They have a dual uh, retention uh, hook and loop uh, Velcro straps, and it, and uh, as you can tell, you can see how massive the padding is. Um, basically, it's just a foam pad inside there, and like I said, this has got that that rough friction creating material, and you can see the stitching. The stitching is, is very is very well done. But basically, um, put these on. It's not going to be as simple as uh, as the elbow pads. So you just take that, and then let's see if I can get this. There we go. Hook and loop, and then it has like basically, it's like a double closure. It has an internal right there, and then it has an extra security. Let's see, it's, it's hooked. Oh, I went too far actually hook like that and it has extra retention strap to go over like that so the knee pads are going to be very very secure uh, which, which is a good thing now when you uh, when you get them on there definitely uh, to me it's definitely getting used to because this is so such a bulky pad traditionally you're going to see a lot of knee pads and elbow pads with more of like a bump and it's going to be like a rough I don't know uh, plastic or um, some kind of uh, you know, maybe even Zytel or some kind of similar, um, similar uh, compound. But these these are very large and bulky. But which is good, it gives your knee a lot of protection from the front. Um, there, you know, you're going to have to have the give and the less protection on the sides, so you can have um, have the mobility. But comfort-wise, um, I guess I give it about a nine out of ten. I mean, you know, there's time. You know, it just kind of depends. It's going to be tighter in certain areas. I mean, if you roll all the way back, it's going to get really, you know, absolutely um, tight. And you know, I can keep them loose, but if I keep them looser, they're going to, you know, they're going to slide. Um, so yeah, comf comfortability, eight or nine out of ten. Um, they feel great, even in this heat. And like I said, I'm sweating, but it's not overwhelming. Um, as you can see, like I said, the elbow pads are pretty easy to get on. The knee pads take um, just a little bit longer. 
and then when uh, you get them, I don't know, you know, wherever you buy them from, the elbow pads came with this kind of nice, like, kind of ditty bag, so that was, that was definitely a plus. The Hellstorm, the knee pads came with, um, Blackhawk always does a good job about giving you kind of, like, uh, a bag or something to kind of put your gear in, like, a, a, just different things, like their speed clips, they have, like, a, kind of, like, a special Ziploc sort of bag, so, I mean, it's, just, it's kind of nice to, to have your gear when you put it up to kind of have it in that, um, in that bag, so, um, all in all, yeah, I would say, uh, versatility wise they're good and then last thing I'm going to say about the material that creates the friction I like um, having that area like for shooting it's um, it's really fantastic um, it just you can lay your, your arm out your elbow um, rests very easily it's it's not really gonna I can move this this whole container very easily just with my elbow because um, of the friction created there so it um, you're not really going to slide around as in as if with traditional um, elbow pads it has the plastic material there and it makes it um, kind of easier to get to slide around and the comfortability I think is lost on some of those elbow pads some that I've even used in the past and these um, it's got some bounce to it so definitely um, they're going to protect you they're versatile and I think they work really well in multiple environments I mean def if I was if it was in the winter I think I'd be really happy right now about <laughs> about having happier than I am now uh, wearing them um, but anyway that's a, that's about all I've got on them pretty pretty simple setup pretty simple way to get them on and off so I uh, thank uh, thank you the viewer um, for stopping by I'm checking out the review thanks